A total solar eclipse occurs somewhere on Earth almost every year. But in any given spot, it may be only every 350 years or so. I've seen a lot of eclipses, but I had to go all the way around the world. So you have to go where the shadow is. So a, a few minutes before totality, when the sun gets to be really, really skinny, there's a diffraction pattern of sunlight that is on the ground but it's sweeping past you at a thousand miles an hour. And so you see that light on the ground look like little ripples. Then you get the diamond ring, which is the last bit of sunlight before it gets covered up. When the corona comes out and it goes total, it's like this eyeball looking at you from space and it has this white halo around it so during totality, you'll see what appears to be sunset all the way around. It'll be reddish. And that's because those regions aren't in totality. They're still getting a little sunshine. And so we're seeing the scattered light from their sunlight. And so in the country, your skies will get darker and you'll see more planets. The temperature change will be definitely noticeable. Then as it comes out, you'll see this, what we call Bailey's beads, the little red beads along the horizon. And when you see that, you know totality is about over. And then here comes the diamond ring. And then you have the same things on the other side. You get the shadow bands. It's a real visceral experience. And the whole anticipation, is the weather gonna hold? Is it gonna work out? Adds to the, the magic and mystery of it. So. You know, when it really happens, it's just uh, an amazing rush.